Namaskaram. In last class, we have discussed the concept of limit of a vector valued function. This is the solution of last homework. Today, we are going to define the derivative of a vector valued function with the help of limits. Uh, this is the formal definition of derivative as similar to the real valued functions. If r of t is a vector valued function, then derivative of r of t with respect to the parameter t is defined by like this, denoted, denoted by r dash of t similar to our uh, one variable function, limit h tend to 0 r of t plus h minus r of t by h. Next, we are going to anal. Next, next we are going to closely analyze this definition geometrically. Okay, in this definition, r of t plus h and r of t both are vectors, so it is clear that their difference is also a vector. Okay. Okay. In this case, here we assume that. This is the orientation of the curve C. Orientation means increasing order of the parameter. Okay, that means whenever T is increasing, the curve is tracing in this order. Okay, that is our assumption. So what happened? Then it is clear that R of T plus H is on this side. Okay, and it is clear that. Okay. Similarly, if H is negative, then R of T plus H is on this side. Because T plus H is less than T if H is negative. Okay, so we consider the first case H is positive. Then this is the geometry of the vectors R of t and R of t plus h. Okay, then what about this vector R of t plus h minus R of t? Geometrically, what is R of t plus h minus R of t? We know that from the vector subtraction, R of t plus h minus R of t is a vector like this. Isn't it? If we move this vector parallel to the same vector to the terminal point of this vector r of t, then we get a vector like this. That means these two vectors are parallel. Okay. So the direction of this vector and this vector, what is this vector? This is nothing. This is exactly r of t plus h minus r of t. And these two vectors are parallel. So its direction and the difference vector r of t plus h minus r of t both are in same direction. Okay. Okay, actually our quantity is r of t plus h minus r of t by h. Okay, so when we multiply this difference vector with 1 by h, then what happened? Okay, here we assume that h is positive. So 1 by h is positive. So its direction remains same. That means the direction of this vector when h is positive is like this, pointing in this direction. Okay, next we assume that h is very small, h is 10 to 0. So whenever h is 10 to 0, what happened? The vector is going like this, isn't it? And we get a code like this. So always this direction, always the direction of this vector r of t plus h minus r of t by h is always pointing in this direction. Okay. And magnitude of this vector, this ratio vector depends not only this difference, it depends h also. Because if h is very small, 1 by h is a very high quantity, a big quantity. Okay. But anyway, uh, whatever will be the value of h, if it is positive, then always this vector is pointing this direction. So, so this vector points in the direction of increasing parameter. Okay. That is the direction of our curve. So ultimately, when h is very when, when, when h is very close to 0 and uh, this vector is, it, its direction of this vector is similar to tangential direction and pointing in this direction. Okay. That is when h tending to 0, this line segment approaches the tangent line at the terminal point of R of t. This is the tangent line at R of t. But the thing is, its direction of this vector is like this. 
the increasing direction increasing uh, direction of increasing parameter okay next we consider the case h is negative if h is negative then r of t plus h minus r of t is like this okay because this is r of t plus h this is r of t then by vector subtraction this difference vector is like this okay so if you move parallelly then we get like this okay so so if h is negative it points in the opposite direction of the curve okay okay anyway we have to consider this vector now it is clear that r of t plus h minus r of t pointing in this direction but if you multiply with 1 by h then what happen if you multiply with 1 by h 1 by h time r of t plus h minus r of t then what about the direction of this vector now we are here we assume that h is negative so 1 by h is also negative so a negative quantity into this vector so its direction gets reversed that is the direction of this vector is opposite of this vector that is like this okay and its magnitude may differ differ because we multiply this vector with the quantity 1 by h okay so in both cases the vector this vector this vector points in the direction of increasing parameter that is this direction now this is the increasing this is the direction of increasing parameter okay so if h is positive or negative whatever we always this vector pointing in this direction similar similar to the previous case as h tends to zero this line segment approaches to the tangent line at the terminal point of r of t okay so as a conclusion this vector r dash of t is parallel to tangent at r of t tangent at r of t and parallel to okay that is uh, r dash of t is a vector it is parallel to the tangent at r of t and points in the direction of increasing parameter okay so this is the geometrical geometric interpretation of the derivative okay anyway r dash of t is a vector we know that all the vectors are starting from origin okay so suppose this is our vector r dash of t so geometrically this vector r dash of t is parallel to the tangent at r of t and points in the direction of increasing parameter so this is the uh, direction of the derivative okay so this is the conclusion uh, okay we know that r dash of t is a suppose that c is a graph of a vector valued function r of t and that r dash of t exists and non zero for a given value of t uh, if it is non zero then we know that the vector r dash of t r dash of t is a vector so it is always starting from the origin okay this is our r dash of t okay if the vector r dash of t this is our r dash of t is positioned with its initial point at the terminal point of the radius vector r of t this is our radius vector and this is a terminal point okay if you position position this vector its uh, initial point at this terminal point that is like this okay point of the radius vector r of t then r dash of t is tangent to c then it is tangent tangential direction okay and points in the direction of increasing parameter so in this case this is the uh, direction of increasing parameter so that's why r dash of t is pointing like this okay this, this is the geometry of r dash of t using this result we can easily evaluate the derivative of a vector valued function by differentiating the component functions that is if r of t is a vector valued function then we can find the derivative of r dash of t using this formula derivative of x with respect to t into y plus derivative of y with respect to t into j plus derivative of z with respect to t into k okay because x y z are real valued functions so we can differentiate our we can differentiate x y z using our normal uh, roots
for example find the derivative of this vector r of t equal to 2 minus t i plus e raised to minus t j plus 3 times cos 1 minus t pi k okay so we can differentiate this r with, res uh, with respect to t we have to differentiate this r with respect to t so we can use this formula so what is the derivative of 2 minus t that is uh, minus 1 so minus 1 i plus what about the derivative of e raised to minus t that is minus e raised to minus t j and uh, what about the derivative of cos uh, derivative of cos is uh, minus sine minus sine of 1 minus t pi and uh, again we have to differentiate this 1 minus t into pi that is again minus pi so this become plus 3 pi so 3 pi sine 1 minus t pi okay so this is the derivative of this function this vector valid function yes this is minus i minus e raised to minus t j plus 3 pi sine 1 minus t pi okay 1 k is also the vector okay these are the some useful results of differentiation for vector valued functions first one is derivative of k times k is a constant k is a number uh, into r of t is equal to k times derivative of r of t and derivative of r1 plus r2 they are two vector valued functions equal to derivative of first function plus derivative of second function and last one is derivative of f of t into r of t here f of t is a real valued function like our x square or a t square or sin t or whatever be like a real valued function and r of t is a vector valued function then derivative of f of t into r of t is equal to f of t times derivative of that vector valued function plus derivative of our f of t this is our usual derivative into r of t okay almost similar to our product rule this is your homework so as a conclusion if this is our r of t and this is our curve c then the direction of r then the vector r dash of t is a vector which is parallel to the tangent at this point and the direction of this r, r dash of t is the direction of increasing increasing uh, the direction of increasing parameter okay thank you